Hey everyone, back from hibernation. So I was washing the dishes last night and I was trying to think of a new video. Then I started thinking about how much abridging has changed over the past like seven to eight years. And then it dawned on me, why don't I just make a fucking clickbait video or some shit, I don't know. But in all seriousness, I've sort of started to realize there's a few problems with modern abridging and I'm sort of going to like piece them together in one video. It won't be too long. It's just sort of an opinionative thing. I've never done this before, so I'm trying something new. What I've realized lately is that uh, finding reliable people is progressively getting more difficult and difficult as the years go on. I'm talking about voice actors, voice actresses, hell, editors. It just becomes a lot more difficult progressively through the years and I've noticed this uh, especially now. I began abridging and content creating in general back in 2011. It was quite easy to find voice actors, voice actresses, and just general people to help out uh, way back when, and it sort of started to become a little bit more convoluted. I've had experiences where a lot of voice actresses have moved on to being professionals and have stopped voice acting in, you know, the parodies on the internet, you know what I mean? Some refuse to do voice lines for parodies and would rather work on original content. Some have just flat out said, no, I don't want to do it unless I get paid, which is totally understandable but it makes my job a little harder, you know what I'm saying? I remember a time where it was much simpler. I could just ask any of my friends to voice act for me and then they would do it. But then life got in the way and they, you know, pursued other things, which, I mean, as a human, why wouldn't you? Hell, I don't even know where half of them are now. They've just disappeared from the internet without a say whatsoever. And it's, it's difficult for me to replace them because they were so goddamn good at what they did. It's just a shame that they decided to just go and do their other things. Which, hey, look, I'm not gonna fucking say, ooh, don't do that. But it's difficult to replace people in general, so that's that's kind of a problem. Another problem I've been seeing lately, I guess, I wouldn't even say it's a problem, but a progression, I guess, is that solo abridges are seeking more help with their projects, so they're not just sticking to their own guns, they're getting, they're hiring editors, they're hiring people to organize uh, conventions, they've, they've got sound effects editors, they've got voice actors that just work with them all the time, and me being a solo abridger, I don't know, I, I just, don't feel like doing that kind of thing. Plus, they all live together and it's a lot easier for them and I feel like it's just, it's a problem for me and a lot of other solo abridges because we're just not used to that. And I guess as time goes on, it's gonna progress even more, but it seems to sort of move into more of a business side of things as opposed to just making silly videos. Totally understand that, but just, I don't know, I'm not into it, you know what I mean? What I've noticed also is that there's no such thing as a cameo anymore. The old days of cameos in videos have just sort of dried out. You don't see LK in one of, the, one of this guy's videos. You don't see Purple Eyes. I mean, he's doing his own thing, but hey, you don't see that as often. And I, I don't know, it's not a problem by any means. I just feel like it's sort of taken that essence away. It's It doesn't feel as special when you're like, whoa, LK's in this and whoa, Zero Master's in this. You know what I mean? Like just, I'm just r dropping fucking random names at this point, but that's just gone and I don't see that as much anymore. Maybe it's just me, but the community can be also littered with drama. I've noticed that and I've sort of moved myself away from that sort of circle. It's gotten a lot better, I've noticed as of late, but it still happens and god damn, it's like I'm fucking back in high school again, you know what I'm saying? I guess I wouldn't even necessarily say any of this is a major problem. I mean, besides the, you know, drama and the unreliable people, but it's, it's more of so it's progressed a lot further than I would have ever initially thought. Initially? Initially. That is not a word. Initially thought. I've learnt a lot from the abridging community. I've learnt a lot from just parody making community, voice acting community, and I can't thank everyone enough for that, but I'm sort of trying to say as well, I'm gonna move and do different things. I'm not just going to stick to parody making as much as I'd love to. It's just a lot more difficult, and I think this video is trying to explain to you why that is. Uh, people move on, uh, people become real unreliable. Uh, it's just, you know, drama, whatever. Not to mention YouTube. Ho oh, ho oh boy, YouTube. We just have to sort of sit along for the ride, don't we? It sort of has, uh, I guess, fucked us a little, but I mean, what are you gonna do? This is our platform. We have to stick to it. They do terrible things sometimes, but it is what it is. What I'm trying to say is abridging has evolved. It's become something that is a lot more than just 
some dude talking into a microphone that what it was in 2005 onwards or 2006 onwards I honestly can't remember when it started but you know what I mean it's incredible how it's progressed though part of me wishes that it didn't go too far I just fear that one day it will just be a husk of what it once was and that it's not gonna even be as fun to create these kind of silly parodies, anime parodies, but it'll start to become like a job for everyone. And it just, it won't be what it was. I'm not trying to make it seem all sappy, but it's getting there. But I still laugh at funny haha poo poo jokes, so I mean, there's gotta be some heart left in there, right? <laughs> But anyway, thanks for watching this video. Thank you all for sitting back and watching whatever the hell this is. Real content very soon. This has been Excaliborg. You're watching the Disney Channel.